Hi, hello children. How are you all? Welcome back to my class. Today in this class, we are going to start your one of the lesson from the EVS of fifth standard that is the sky. So children, you all have seen the sky during the daytime and as well as during the nighttime, right? What are the things you'll observe during the daytime? Yes, you'll observe the sun right you'll observe the sun and you'll observe the clouds also during the daytime and what about the night time what are the things you'll observe in the sky during the night time you'll observe the moon stars and sometimes you'll see the shooting stars here you can see right so these are the things you'll observe during the day and the during the night time now you tell me what are the things you'll see during the rainy season Yes, of course, you will see the rain, thunder, lightning, cycling winds, etc. Right. So, here you will observe many changes in the sky. Isn't it? And it is the day when the sun is rises and it is the night when the sun is set. Right. So, when we call it as a day when the sun is rises. So, that is a day and it is night when the sun is sets. Right. And when you will observe this moon here, yes, the moon is seen at night, isn't it? Yes. So, children, in this lesson, we are going to study about the sun and its family, and we are going to see the shape of the, uh, shape, the shape and the size of the earth and its movements and the causes of day and night, how the day and night is occur, and what are the meteoroids, asteroids, and the comets, and what are the movements of uh, moon and its faces, and why the earth is called a unique planet among the other planets. So, these all are the uh, concepts which we are going to come cover in this lesson okay so here next one first yes so this is the first concept of this lesson that is the sun and its family so the sun is having its own family as we are having right our parents our siblings we all together is there is a one family so in the same way the sun is also having its own family so the sun and its family is known as the solar system Yes, so the sun and its family is known as the solar system. You have to remember this. Okay, and this solar system, it consists 8 planets, 173 satellites, thousands of asteroids, meteoroids and the comets. So, the, sun, the family of the sun, it consists 8 planets, 173 satellites, thousands of asteroids, meteoroids and the comets comets okay so this is the son of the sorry family of the sun okay so children one more thing the sun okay the sun is the the sun is the star the sun is also a star so the stars are self luminous celestial bodies self luminous means they will shine by themselves they produce their own shiningness okay they will not take it from any other object so celestial bodies in the sense it is a natural object which is outside of the earth atmosphere okay so that we called as a celestial bodies so the sun is here this sun is a star and it is the self luminous celestial body okay and the solar system here you can see this solar system is a part of galaxy which is known as the milky way okay so this solar system it is the part of the galaxy which is known as the milky way you have to remember this okay so the next concept is the sun okay we'll study about the sun now so what is the sun so as we know that the sun is a star right the sun is a star and see it looks very bigger and brighter especially if you see the sun during the sunset it looks very beautiful looks like a fireball right why because our earth is a closer than any other star okay so it is very closer to the earth the sun is very closer to the earth if you see the solar system here these are the planets which revolve around the sun so here the here this is the earth it is in the third place so 
earth is very closer to the sun that's why it looks very bigger and brighter okay and it is the center of the solar system and the sun is the it is the it is the center of the solar system because all the remaining um, this uh, planets asteroids asteroids so these planets these planets they revolve around the sun okay so sun is the center of the solar system the sun provides light and heat to us as we know that the sun is provide as a light so sun is which energy we get from the sun yes we get a solar energy from the sun isn't it yes so the solar energy is needed by the plants to prepare the food if they prepare the food we get the food from the plants so we are dependent on each other so solar energy it is very important so we get the light and heat from the sun and the heat and light of the sun is it is very much essential for the human beings for all the plants and for all the animals so this is about the sun yes yes so the next concept of this lesson is the know this okay so first one here geocentric model and the heliocentric model we'll see what are these models so first one here the geocentric model here in the ancient time the people they used to think that the sun the moon and other planets they orbit around the earth okay they used to tell that the sun uh, the earth is a constant one whereas the sun the other planets they revolve around the earth okay so that is expounded by the claudius ptolemy here you can see okay that is called the geocentric model where this earth is a constant and the sun moon and other planets they orbit around the sun they revolve around the earth so that is called the geocentric model then afterwards after some times the aryabhatta from the india he is a astronomer as well as he is a mathematician okay he proposed that the earth and the other planets they revolve around the sun so this is known as the heliocentric model even these are the scientists um nicolaus copernicus john kepler they also said that the aryabhatta nico uh nicolaus copernicus john kepler the three of them said that the earth the earth and the other planets they revolve around the sun okay sun is a constant whereas the earth and some other planets they revolve around the sun so this is called as a heliocentric model okay understood what is geocentric model and what is heliocentric model yes so the next one here you can see the galileo galilei is an italian mathematician and a physicist he invented the telescope so this is a device which we used to see the things which is going on in the space okay uh, so that is called the telescope so the telescope is invented by the scientist his name is a galileo galilei okay so this is about the uh, this is just for the purpose of the journal you should know that what is geocentric model and which is the heliocentric model now you are have following the heliocentric model in that heliocentric model yes what is there in the heliocentric model here the earth and the other planets they revolve around the sun the sun is a constant one okay yes so the next one is the planets we'll study little bit about the planets so the planets is the celestial bodies they are orbiting around the sun along a elliptical orbit so these planets you can see mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus neptune okay these are the eight planets so uh, the pluto it was one of the planet in the solar system but has been removed in the next classes i will tell you why okay so now we are having only eight planets from mercury to neptune so all these planets planets they are uh, revolve around the sun in a elliptical order elliptical orbit okay orbit in the sense every planet has its own path of movement so that we call it as a orbit if you see the mercury it will move in this particular path only so that we call it as a orbit so all these planets they revolve around the sun in a orbit 
okay so the earth is also have its own orbit so the earth is also has its own orbit and these planets and these planets are the non luminous bodies okay the sun is a luminous because the sun is a star so star the the stars and the sun sun is also a star so the sun is a luminous because it will produce its own light and heat whereas the planets are the non luminous bodies means they will not produce their own heat and light okay so that's why the planets are the non luminous bodies they receive the light and heat from the sun they receive the light and the heat from the sun so these are so this is about the planets yes so the next concept of this lesson is the the earth okay so as we know that we all are on the earth so it is our home and it is a unique planet in the solar system the earth is the unique planet in the solar system why it is unique we'll see that because it occupies the third place from the sun so as we have here as i told you that the earth is having the third place from the sun so it's mercury is the first venus second and the earth is a third place right so the earth it occupies the third place from the sun it is the only planet of the solar system where there is a life okay so the earth is a single planet within all these planet where the life is exist okay so the life is only exist on the earth why it is so because it has a ideal condition for life it supports the life such as it is having a temperature water suitable atmosphere and the uh, the gases which supports the life okay like oxygen whichever the gases carbon dioxide which is needed by the living beings to survive if you see all this suitable condition you will not get it in a, any other planets okay so these suitable conditions ideal conditions you will find only on the earth okay that's why the earth is a unique planet in the solar system the earth is the only planet where the life is exist okay where Where there is a life, understood? Okay, here you can see this picture. This is a picture of the uh, Earth, which is taken from the Moon. Okay, so this is the um, picture of the Earth, how it looks like. Okay, so the next one will see the shape of the Earth. How the shape of the Earth? How the Earth is look like? So if you see the Earth, it is the Earth is slightly flattened at the poles. Here it is little bit flattened at the poles, and they are bulging at the equator. Here this is the equator line. You are having equator. This is the latitude. I think you have studied in the previous. Uh, Uh, classes okay like in third and fourth sign this is one of the latitude the equator so at the equator at the pole and bulging it is a bulging at the equator little bit and where it is a flat at the both the poles so such shape is called the geode shape okay so this is the shape of the earth what is the shape of the earth that is a geode shape meaning the earth shape is called the geode shape and it is denote denotes the earth is not a completely round or circular in shape what we think usually the earth is round in shape no it is totally wrong okay geode in the sense what the earth is slightly flattened at the poles and bulging at the equator okay so this is called the geode shape Okay, that is the Earth shape. Understood? Which shape of what is the shape of the Earth? It is a geode shape. Yes. Next one is here. You can see the shape of the Earth is a geode shape. Okay. Next, we will see the size of the. What is the size of the Earth? The Earth is the fifth largest planet in the solar system. If you see the solar system here, so the Earth is the fifth largest planet. It is in the solar system. okay so next its equatorial diameter is here yes 
its equatorial diameter is how much 12757 km and the polar diameter is 12714 km here you can see that the polar diameter is less than the equatorial diameter by 43 km if you minus this number with this number so that is a 40 km there is a difference of 40 km right here you can see it is a sorry 43 km so here you can see it is a 12757 km equatorial diameter whereas the polar diameter is a 12714 okay so this shows that the polar diameter is less than the equatorial diameter okay so it denotes that the earth is a spherical in shape it is not total in the circular shape so the total surface area of the earth is 510 million square kilometer okay the total surface area of the earth is 510 million square kilometer okay so this is the total surface area of the earth understood yes so the next yes here we are having one activity for you so here is a solar system that is a sun's family so you have to go through this picture and you have to try to solve this answers okay answer the following questions with the help of the above picture how many planets are there in the solar system yes there are eight planets in the solar system there are eight planets in the solar system next one write the names of the planets in order you have to start it from the mercury till the neptune you have to write it orderly first one is a mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and the neptune so these are the planets next one which is the nearest planet to the sun which is the nearest planet to the sun which is there very near to the sun yes mercury is the nearest planets to the sun next in which planet do we live yes we live yes in which planet do we live earth right yes we live on earth next which is the biggest planet in the solar system jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system okay jupiter is the biggest planet in the solar system next which is the smallest planet in the solar system mars is the smallest planet in the solar system okay so biggest planet is a jupiter and the smallest planet is the mars next one which is the farthest planet from the sun which is a very far this planet from the sun neptune so neptune is the farthest planet from the sun next what position has the planet earth from the sun what is the position of the planet earth from the sun it is the yes very good it is the third place right so the position of the earth is it is a third place from the sun yes so children in this class we have studied the the sun and its family then what is sun and we came to know what is heliocentric model geocentric model then the planets about the earth the size of the earth the shape of the earth right then we have solved some of the questions here based on the planets okay so in the next class we are continue this lesson so till then take care bye bye if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section okay so children if you think this video is really useful to you like it share it and subscribe it thank you